Hey, what's happening, guys? I'm playing with the uh, Mixig uh, oscilloscope once again here. And when we first looked at it, one of the things that I had mentioned was a number of these ports on the side. Here you see the LAN. There is our uh, calibration port. And right here, we have an HDMI port. So telling us that, well, not really telling us, but the scope is capable of outputting an HDMI signal to another screen. So I thought, let's take a look and see if we can uh, make that happen. I actually don't have any standard HDMI monitors around. What I do have is this guy here. If I can get it open. And I've been planning on using it for a Raspberry Pi product project, which is why there's a Pi in there. But what we've got here is a uh, 10 inch HDMI monitor. This was sent to me by uh, our friends at DF Robot. So there's a 10 inch HDMI monitor. Here is the board for it. Have an interconnect cable, it looks like. And another interconnect cable, some speakers. Let's, uh, let's take a closer look at it because I have not played with this and it has no instructions. So first, here is the uh, screen. Get out of its packaging here. Carefully, I don't want to damage it in any way. I mean, it looks to me like this is the only connection on it. Which, I believe, goes to this connector here. Which has a mighty fine pitch. If I zoom in here, maybe we can focus on it. You guys can see the pitch on that connector is very fine, and the connector itself is quite thin. Let's zoom out. So would appear that it clips in this way. We'll get to that in a moment. Next up is this board, which looks to be the important one, right? Let's take a better look at it. So here we have the brains of the operation. Some sort of control chip that they have really done a Good job of obliterating, I think. But it kind of looks like there might be a little bit of indentation left there. Let's try the old Dave Jones trick. A little bit of heat sink compound. And rub it in there. Then we'll get a uh, Kim wipe and wipe it off. And if it worked, yeah, you can see what it says now SIXTH HD HD1. That trick works off pretty well. So here's our connector for the screen and the other side has two connectors broken out here.
We got component video, VGA, HDMI, and power. Needs a 12 volt source. We can definitely do that. Yeah, let's look at our LVDS cable. Now this one only fits here. So I'm pretty confident that that's where that goes. And then we have these cables here. Oh, where's my knife? And this one is only going to fit here. And it mounts to the other side of this button board. So that's easy enough. Then we have this one for the speakers. Which can only mount here. And that leaves us with this one. So what do we do here? Obviously mounts to this dual row header, but in which direction? Well, if we turn it over, we can see VCC is marked here. We see red wires, black wire, that's obviously our VCC, these blue and white data lines. So I'm going to make an assumption that it mounts like that. If I'm wrong, then it will go all smoky on us. So let's just hope I'm not wrong. <laughs> and the final step is to connect this cable, which I believe goes in something like this. Probably doing it wrong, you're all you're all screaming at me. No! Don't do it like that. Never dealt with a connector like this before. Hmm. I hope this is how it goes in. It doesn't seem to be like clicking in like I feel that it should. Does it go in like an old style? RAM module? Mm. Give me a moment to play with this. Alright, I just had it flipped over in the wrong direction. So, we need power. I've got a uh, 12 volt, oop, we don't want to zoom in, we want to zoom out. 12 volt woo, adapter here. Alright, I plug the HDMI in to the oscilloscope. Here is the other end, it goes here.
And we'll get our screen up here. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on here. I'm trying to finagle. Okay. So then we are left with 12 volts. Here's hoping nothing blows up. Oh, look at that. She's powered up. Source. Oh, looky there. How about that? It works. That is so cool. Let me, uh, let me hook a probe up here. And now we have our oscilloscope with HDMI out and, yep, it follows what we see. That is pretty nice. And that was a lot easier to hook up than I had originally thought. So, no big deal there. That's pretty cool. This is around a hundred bucks from DF Robot. And as you can see, it's mighty thin. So you could put this into uh, any of your projects where you would need a big screen for HDMI, VGA, or even component video. Thing to keep in mind this is a display only it's not a touch screen so you know it won't work as a uh, touch screen obviously but it's still pretty cool in my opinion once again I want to thank DF robot for sending this out to us to check out I just need to come up with a uh, cool project to use this for if you guys have any ideas uh, leave it in the comments down below what we can do with it Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. A big thanks to all of my patrons who make this channel possible. Without them, I just wouldn't be here. If you're not a patron, uh, please consider joining. Buck a month is all I ask. That's it. I'm out. Peace.